This is where I made my first rock hounding video. And I'm back more than a year later. Let's see what we can find in these urban streams. Wow, this has completely changed since the last time I was here because the stream went around the outside there and this whole area was gravel bar and now it is completely different, utterly washed away. Just a nice and massive pool here. That is incredible. Oh, that was a nice little fish jump right there. Wow, look at this big pool. Beautiful. Well, I'll try to get over there and see if I can find some rocks and then go up the stream a bit. All right, just gotta make my way down this like, deep bank. There we go, there we go. Almost there. Look at that big giant piece of coal right there. Big old piece of coal. And you can see some bits of brick. Renton is now a small suburb city of Seattle, probably the seventh largest around there in the state. However, at the turn of the century, 1909, that time period, there was a huge coal and brick industry here. We had massive coal deposits. We had massive clay deposits. The Denny Renton Brick and Coal Company was one of the largest producers of brick in the world at the time. And you can see the evidence in every stream. Streams of the region are absolutely filled with the bits of brick. Just chunks everywhere. 100 year old brick, plus the coal that was used to fire them. This coal is literally everywhere here. Just the whole place is filled with it. Pretty impressive. I have very non-waterproof shoes. I'm gonna see if I can jump this. Let's go. All right. Okay. I did it. The petrified wood of this area looks a little different than normal Washington petrified wood. It's weirdly like coalified, if that's a a term. So it's definitely petrified wood. It's just lost some of, uh, it looks more like, a little bit more like coal. But not quite there. They're very pretty here. Here's, here's a nice coal. There. That's shiny. Look at that. This is a great example of the local coal deposits in this region. And look what we got here. This, you can't really see it very well because it's very dark. This is, and with the shine and everything, this is definitely petrified wood. I'll clean it up and get a better photo of it for you to see. This piece is really interesting because it is coal, but then you still have the woody texture. Very interesting. During the last ice age, this area was under a mile of ice. That left hundreds of feet of glacial till deposits. Now, why is there coal seams and a coal town here where glacial till should be? This area is a fault. And it's a specific type of fault that shoves the ground up into the air. Now, when it does this, this means all that land is more available for eroding away. So all that glacial till, the sand, the sediment, the rocks, boulders wash away. And what's left underneath? Well, over the course of a thousand years of uplift, this area has raised over a thousand feet. Now, most of that has completely worn away but that revealed all of the ancient coal reserves below. Many of the paving stones that you see on the old Seattle streets are from the Denny Renton Brick and Coal Company. This is where I grew up. This was my home. I live in 
Arizona now, but this region will always be my first love. That's for sure. I used up the time I had available. Now I'm heading home. I hope you enjoyed. I know I sure did. Have a wonderful day.